we were actually expecting at least one dissenting vote. And I think market also mm. clearly expected one or even two dissenting votes. And so a unanimous decision to hold the rate came as a surprise. And we currently see bond deals rising and the curve bare flattening in the Korean bond market at the back of this news. Um, as you mentioned, Bank of Korea in its statement also stated the recent increase in household debt. But I think this was largely triggered by the new measures released by the government to support the households with young children who are looking to buy apartments. As widely known, um, Korea has one of the lowest birth rates in the world. And this year, government came out with policies to provide mortgages with a relatively lower rate for, to these families. And I think this policy measures has really pushed the household debt higher. Um, in our view, just by looking at the domestic data, the BOK has no reasons not to cut. Uh, in so many measures, um, we see domestic demand weakening and inflation moderating. So if you look at, um, for example, import data that we've seen recently, we've seen 7% down in June, which um, is a, a good lead indicator for the domestic demand, especially for the capital expenditure. But I think this today's decision, the Bank of Korea, um, the focus is really about the external financial stability. The Korean won has been hovering mm. around near 1400 handle, which is quite high. And Korea won has depreciated uh, by 7% so far this year. That's the, that's the weakest um, currency in Asia. Including Japanese yen. So I think these things have really held the BOK from cutting today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when do you see the first rate cut and what kind of cycle are you expecting? In other words, how many cuts are you expecting in this cycle? I think August is still a possibility. Uh, we did not have mm -hmm. any dissenting vote, but we've seen two members. Um, looking for a lower rate in their forward guidance. So I think um, even though on the surface um, it was a little bit more hawkish than uh, the market had expected, but we do see some members of the monetary board um, looking for a rate cut. So I think the cut is still uh, possible in the next meeting. Uh, we expect two rate cuts uh, this year, uh, one in August and another one later this year. The problem is, though, uh, in terms of positioning uh, in investments, uh, the two, two cuts are already priced in the market. So in terms of bond deals or even um, uh, rates, the money market rates to go down further from here, uh, there are limited uh, room for the yields to go down.